guys, this is all things tech for you, and today I'm going to show you how, you, how to make your USB or SD card bootable. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Disk Utility. Find your USB or SD card. In my case, I'm using a USB. Click Erase. For the format, you want MS-DOS-FAT, and you can name it whatever you want. I'll just leave it to Untitled. Click Erase. Let it erase. All right, now you're gonna want to open up terminal. Is that bigger? So you can see it. You want to type in CD desktop. All right, now you're on your desktop. You type in sudo disk util space list. Then you're gonna want to type in your password. And what this does, it shows all the connected devices. You can see my USB right here, and that is my hard drive on my computer. So these are the two partitions. So the first one I'm going to want to unmount is a disk one. So you're going to want to type in sudo umount disk one. Press enter. And then what that does is it unmounts it. Next thing you're going to want to unmount is that one. So you type in sudo disk util you mount disk 1s1 and then it unmounts it alright so now this command will write all the files it needs to boot up onto your USB or SD card so this one is very tricky you have to make sure you have this word for word or else it could mess up your USB or SD card so you're going to want to type in sudo td bs equals 4m if equals and then the name of your file. It be Windows, Fedora, just copy and paste the whole name. Alright. Let me fix that, there we go. Copy and paste it all, even the dot .iso if equals then the name and then of equals slash dev slash disk one and make sure you have that all right and then press enter and that is writing the commands for not the commands it's just writing all of your stuff you need to boot onto your USB or SD card this might take a while you're gonna have to wait a few minutes depending on how big the size is my Windows 7 ISO file it is 3.22 gigabytes so that might take a while if you have Fedora that might not take as long as Fedora 19 because this is only 960 megabytes so I will get back to you once this is done hey guys it is done it took around 15 minutes because it told you right there that's just in seconds and as you can see, it transferred everything onto there and made it bootable. Although I waited till the morning to make this video. So, your SD card or USB should be back on your desktop. You can see all the stuff it needs to boot is on here. So, when you go to boot it, you're just going to turn your computer off. And then as you turn it back on, hold Option with the ALT key. Alt and then you can choose your USB there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe.